My father was a very great man, a chief inspector for the Hong Kong police. Even though he died when I was 10, I remember him very well. He was killed by an enforcer for the Wu Xing Wu Triad, and I told myself then that I would follow in his footsteps and honor his memory. He taught me martial arts, and I continued to practice after he was gone. After finishing at the top of my university class, I joined the Hong Kong police and was chosen as part of the first all-female anti-organized crime squad. I worked hard, I did my best, but the men in charge never intended to put us on the front lines. They didn't train us the way they promised they would. They didn't believe any of us women were up to the task. We were only for show. Instead, my superiors sent me here, to this resort, to this front desk, to be an informer, to spy on wealthy Westerners. My father would not be proud of me. This work dishonors his memory. But I will do as they ask, for I am a patriot. But I know I am capable of much, much more. I just need the opportunity to prove myself. Maybe there's something inside.
Shanks. Fever, chills. Good. I'll introduce myself later. Right now, we've got to get you the hell out of there. Do exactly as I say, okay? You're gonna have to trust me. First, you need to get hold of a weapon. Search in the maintenance storage room by the end of the corridor. I would move if I were you. Now. I said no. You heard what he said. You hear what's going on out there? You want what you saw here? I'm doing it. No! Did my oh, body fuck tell you? you? Now stop! Wait! Hey! Do you hear me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Nod your head! Nod your bloody head! I ain't asking you again. Oh, thank God. I'm a doctor, not a bloody executioner. Sweet Mary, Jesus. Do you know how close we came to bashing your head in? <sighs> Fuck, I should have never listened to Cinemoy. <laughs> Those things came for us, and Sinemoy went out to kill them alone. SOS! Why won't anyone help him? You can't just let him die out there. He saved your life. You owe him your life. Can anyone hear me? Anyone? Don't let him die. Going out there? Are you nuts? You're not gonna help me. Get the hell out of the way. You at least have a weapon. You need to find a weapon. Don't let him die. Please, he's the only one protecting us. All right, but this is fucking crazy. On three, one, two, fuck it, three. That's the last one? Okay then. Thanks, mates.
We were just attacked. Listen, your friend from the hotel's awake. You were right about him being immune to this thing. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have made it. Maybe now we can hold out until help arrives. There is no help. This thing can't be stopped. I saw how it took my wife. You need to get out of there, and I can help you. I can arrange for transportation. By air, by sea, but first you need to get here. To me. I have many sick and injured here, mate. They're crazy with fear. Tell me where you are. Where are you? You there, mate? Hello? Hello? Oh, God damn it. I found you. You beat up pretty bad. thanks to you. Getting better. We didn't think you were gonna make it. You out there. Name's John Cinnamoy. I'm the head lifeguard here. The voice on the radio told me you were in trouble at the hotel. Said you were resistant to whatever this is. I didn't believe it, but then I found you and I saw the bite marks. You got no symptoms, but <laughs> those aren't love bites, are they? Look, I don't know who you are or how you know that guy on the radio, but he's our only connection with the outside world. We keep losing the bloody signal. We have a monsoon coming. So here's the thing. We need to move everybody to the main lifeguard station. There's an ambulance there and more equipment and a stronger radio with an antenna. I hate to ask, but we can't do this without you. Will you help me? Yes. Good. First off, we need an access card to get past the security gate. Mine's in my room. With all the commotion, I forgot to take it with. It's in Bungalow 11, by the pools. Take a weapon and watch yourself. You may be immune, but that don't mean you can't die. This is the end of days. Judgment Day. Fuck, I should've stuck. Why the hell did I stay here with Cinnamoy? I should've listened to Maggie and left with James and the others. They probably found a way off the island by now. Maybe there's still time to find them. If you're out there and you see Maggie and the others, could you let me know where they are? Yes. Ah, uh, thanks. I'll be here. Because, I mean, you know, where the hell else am I gonna go? Later. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. My wife. My, my dad. Oh, fuck. My own fucking brother. Jesus Christ. What else could I do? Let him kill me? Why are you looking at me like that? What the fuck do you want from me? I had no choice. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.
This is Roger Howard on a special assignment on the island of Banoi. I'm investigating illegal logging and clear-cutting that's not only damaging the ecosystem here, but costing the people of Banoi billions. I've been told that my life might be in danger as those behind this illegal activity will stop at nothing to protect their criminal enterprise. As a precaution, I will be leaving a trail of recordings wherever I go. I told you to stay away. Go. Why wouldn't you so listen to if me? if something were to happen to me, the truth would still be told. I'm leaving now to meet with an informant who I believe could rip the lid off of this investigation. What the hell is wrong with this place? Later. You killed Cat all. White, you did it? All right. Thanks to you, we might all just make it. No thanks to We you. need a move. I didn't see you out there. Okay, you ready to go out there again? I'll need you to find a lifeguard station and see if it's safe. Can you do that for me? Definitely. Take the beach. It's the shortest way. We'll come as soon as we know it's safe. There should be a working radio inside. Signal us when it's clear, and we'll follow you. This is the end of days. Judgment Day. Twelve seconds later. I send you to hell! Jesus Christ, if you hadn't come along. Y you want to come with me? I'm gathering any supplies I can find at the Water Sports Rental Kiosk. Maybe you'll find something that'll come in handy. There's a table in sight you can use to repair your weapons. Look, take whatever you want. I have to get some rest. I'll rest up and then head out to meet my wife.
I would have died out there without you. What do we have here? Luke, if you can hear me, did you make it to the bungalow? It's number 20. Remember, the insulin is in the bathroom, on the shelf. I need it quick, brother. A few moments later.
Associating flight 1012. All engines are out. Repeat, all engines are out. Ground control, do you read? We're making an emergency landing north of the city. <laughs> in here.
nice job, mates. We're safe now, thanks to you. But we won't make it long without food. If help don't come soon, we're gonna have to head to town. Meantime, maybe you could see if anybody needs help. We're safe here for now, but there's still a lot to do. A lot of people here need help. Go talk to them and see what you can do. People have been asking for you, looking for help. God damn it, this is hopeless. Come over. This baby needs some new spark plugs or she ain't going nowhere. Shame, though. It's a hell of a car. A battalion of those freaks wouldn't slow this baby down. So, if you can find me a few necessary parts from any nearby wrecked cars, and we get this ride rolling, I'll let you take her out any time you want. Deal? I'm in. Excellent. You locate those parts. You know where to find me. I feel like I'm back and these bodies are starting to rot. You smell that? We need to burn them before they start attracting more of these walking dead motherfuckers. Do me a favor. See if you can't get some gas from that station nearby. Let's do it. Okay, good. See if you can find a car. That way you can move more gas. Somebody help me with this bloody door. Hey, remember me, mate. I'm the doctor, but I can't do much without medical supplies. The door to the infirmary is locked from the other side, and Anne's in critical condition. You think you can help me break the bloody thing down? Sure. I appreciate it. Go on, then. Those poor bastards! <laughs> Anyway. I won't go in there with those things still bumping around. Take him out! Good on you, mate. Now let me get to work. All the equipment's trashed or gone. What a bloody disaster. Nothing here at all, is there? We need to think of another way. Will you help me? I need you to locate an ambulance or one of the lifeguard vehicles. Inside, you'll find a paramedic bag with all the necessary equipment in it. I'm pretty sure I saw one by the Diamond Bungalows. Yes. Without your help, we'd all be six feet under by now. We're bloody walking corpses. Kelly, please, just call. Kelly's worried about her husband, Will, but I think he's probably okay. If you happen to be nearby there, can you see if you can find him? Let's do this. His name is William. He's about six foot one, black hair, good looking. He's a concierge. 
He has a friend named Doyle who works in the Diamond District bungalows. I'm thinking maybe he's hiding out there. Ah, oh, man, Maggie was right. We can't just sit here and wait. Excuse me. I ran out in such a rush, I left my necklace behind at the hotel. It's in Bungalow 6 in the silver section. My husband gave it to me. It means a lot to me. I'm offering a reward. Can you help me? Of course. Thank you. Please, be careful. I heard this scourge came from outer space. 